Welcome to Neurodiversipedia, where we explain all those big, complicated words pertaining to neurodiversity in ways that everybody can understand. What is motor planning? It's like a roadmap for your body. It's like catching a ball without even really thinking about it because your brain said, oh my gosh, something is coming toward me and I need to catch it. Motor planning is oftentimes difficult for kids with developmental disorders like autism. Examples of things that use motor planning would be any kind of sport with hand-eye coordination. Using an AAC device is also a great example of something that requires good motor planning. The reason that AAC devices need it is because when kids are learning how to use this language device, it's a speech device, we call ours a talker at Goalie. Uh, it requires kids to see the word on the screen and tap it with their finger. So if kids have a really hard time with hand-eye coordination or fine motor skills, um, games that require that are a great way to build that mobility and motor planning skills so that they can actually use their speech device. Motor planning is improved with repetition. So you'll notice in a lot of occupational therapy settings, there will be exercises or um, strategies that involve kids repeatedly doing uh, activities or exercises that require them to use fine motor skills or motor planning. Think about it like this. When you sit down and type on a keyboard, you don't even notice that your brain is telling your fingers where to go. You just think the thoughts and oftentimes will type and it will happen. It's because you've repeated that motion so many times. You've built a roadmap in your body to tell you, I think the word thought and I'm going to type the word thought at the same time. In the same way, a lot of AAC apps or AAC devices like goalies will actually not move where the words are located on the screen so that kids who are nonverbal or who have autism, they can learn where the words are through repetition and eventually their body just remembers where the words are without them having to stare and find and search for a word they want to communicate. You could make learning motor planning really fun. So find some apps, find some activities, and help your kids grow. Did that help you understand the term? If yes, give us a thumbs up or subscribe below. If it didn't, then leave us a comment and tell us why. What are we missing? We always want to do better. This is a project by Goalie. Check us out at getgoalie.com.